you know every trade that i take or every trade that i do not take it's like a story and i love to narrate the story because when i buy a stock it either goes up or it or it goes down right so that becomes a story as to why did i buy the stock where did i buy the stock where did i sell the stock and why did i do all of that that becomes a story in itself it takes me around 10 to 15 minutes to narrate the whole story to narrate the factors i was looking for before i bought the stock during i was buying the stock during that time and after i bought the stock what are the factors that led me to sell the stock okay that becomes a nice story which i like to narrate on my youtube channel however i also talk a lot about the trades that i don't take because i firmly believe that your trading performance does not depend as much on the stocks that you select as much as it depends on the stocks that you choose to reject so your ability to reject stocks is more important than your ability to select stocks because the market will keep throwing opportunities at you it is you who needs to come up with rules and take a call whether you want to get involved in a stock or not now if you remember uh, just a few days ago i think 5th of september like a couple of weeks ago i published a video in which i spoke about a stock called amra raja okay i will type it here amra raja and i mentioned all my reasons as to why i am rejecting the stock i spoke to you about why i chose not to put an order for this stock i did not put a alert nor did i put a buy stop limit order nor did i put any market order i did nothing with the stock okay and that video was made on this day on this green candle see let me yeah that video was made on this day somewhere here okay and i think the video will get published on 5th of september so i was looking at the stock the recording i think that i recorded the video on 21st of august and then the final publishing of the video because i have a lot of videos in pipeline i think the final publishing of the video happened on 5th of september and uh, now i don't know when this video will go online i don't know exactly but this was the time when i was looking at the stock okay is very important and i chose to reject this stock in spite of the fact that there were a lot of consolidations here see this base has multiple points point 1 point 2 point 3 point 4 point 5 point 6 point 7 point 8 so the price is getting tighter and tighter okay which is generally a good sign and the volume is also contracting so in spite of all of these factors i still said no to the stock and all the reasons why i said no to the stock are mentioned in that video so i will link that video somewhere here okay or you on my youtube channel if you just type the name of the stock amra raja you might find the the stock that video there okay it's very important you watch that video before you come to this video so it's important to see when you reject a stock please come back to the stock after 2 to 3 weeks to see what happened to the stock did it go up did it go down if it went up that means you missed the opportunity maybe your analysis was not up to the mark but if it went down it means that you were right you were right in not getting involved in the stock you saw something in the story of the stock which told you not to get involved and that story played out well see if i remove this i was doing my analysis on this day and see after that what has happened this this yellow line was breached which was the buy point okay ideal buy point it was breached and the stock has crashed from there from yellow line it has crashed i think 10% so if i had bought there and if i had kept an 8% stop loss which i normally keep i would have lost money so it's it's actually putting 8% money in my pocket okay sometimes we ignore the trades that we have not taken please go back and study the trades that you have not taken and if your decision has been correct it's like it's truly like putting 8% money in your pocket 
you might not realize the importance of this but going back and looking at the trades that you have not taken gives you the confidence if, if it worked out in your favor okay look this stock has gone down and I, on this day i was already doing analysis the stock was drifting down the parameters of the stock were not in place so currently as we can see the stock is at the low end of the base here it's almost near 0.2 so the stock has collapsed from the top the stock has crashed 20 percent and after a brief consolidation it is again coming back to that level so this is not a stock that is going up this is a stock that is going down maybe it will break this window soon okay there is this rising window if it breaks that window the stock could continue to collapse and by the way let us look at market smith data for this stock that will give us a better idea of what is the current standing of the stock sorry amara raja amara raja energy and uh, see this is the market smith page of the stock so master score is b so it is still could be considered as a, a stock in your watch list but see currently if you see let me expand this now look at this data price is drifting down the relative strength is drifting down rapidly okay the see the market is going up but the relative strength is drifting down the recent quarterly earnings growth is not more than 40% there is the recent two quarter sales growth average is not more than 40% so the fundamentals are poor eps rating is not more than 80 price strength is not more than 80 group rank is poor it is more than uh, 40 return on equity should be minimum 17 this is 13 so even pe ratio is not up to the mark it should be near the higher end of the range master score looks okay institutional demand looks okay so if we look at all the factors combined beta is 1.51 which means if the market crashes 10 percent this stock will fall 1.5 times of that which means if the market crashes 10 percent this stock will crash 15 percent it's like more than 10 percent you understand what i'm saying so this is a volatile stock this is a stock where the relative strength is declining this is a stock with a, from an underperforming industry. This is a stock with poor earnings growth and uh, sales growth, decline, declining sales growth, declining earnings growth. Okay. Poor EPS rating, poor strength in price. So when the stock was somewhere here inside this base, you see this dotted line. This is a base, by the way. This is the third, third base. So this is a middle stage base in a stage two uptrend. Okay, so there was a lot of potential in the stock, but a combination of technical and fundamental factors has led the stock to fall down. And I was right in my decision not to get involved in this stock. So let me let me reiterate uh, what I said earlier. When you buy a stock, something will happen to it. It will either go up or it will go down. So it's very easy to uh, figure out whether your decision was right or not on that particular stock. However, to select one stock, you are rejecting 10 other stocks, right? So please go back to those 10 stocks and see which of those 10 stocks have gone up and which of them have gone down. See out of 10 stocks that you rejected today, and if you see these stocks after a couple of weeks, if nine out of 10 stocks have gone down, that means your analysis was correct. Or even seven or eight out of 10 stocks have gone down. That means your overall analysis of the market of the stock was correct. However, out of these 10 stocks, seven or eight stocks have, are going up and the only two or three are going down. That means you are not, uh, your analysis is not up to the mark. You need to improve your skills. So please keep diligent notes. Every day you'll make a list of stocks that you are rejecting. And see, when you are rejecting a stock, you're only rejecting those stocks which are forming a proper base. You don't need to write 100 stocks that you're rejecting. I'm only talking about those stocks which are forming a proper base, which are forming a proper setup, a proper pattern. But for some reason, maybe because of factors or something, for some reason, you rejected the stock. So I want you to make a list of all the stocks 
on a particular day where you see a good pattern on the chart but for some reason or another you end up rejecting the stock keep those list and after 2 to 3 weeks go back to that list and study the stocks if those majority of the stocks have gone down that means you are on the right path because if you had taken that trade you would have lost money okay and you would have had to buy some other stock and make money on that stock to cover that loss but since you avoided the stock altogether basically the saying goes that you can't lose money in a stock that you never bought see i never bought this stock so how can i lose money on this stock okay so my analysis was proven right see i don't have to prove anything to anyone i just have to prove that to myself that whatever analysis i did on that day was correct and if i continue to do this analysis eventually i will come up with a with a uh, stock which has a higher probability of going up than a probability of going down and if i take 10 such trades even if five of them go up the reward to risk ratio will take care of my overall uh, uh, profit and loss okay that's the idea so i want you to study not just the stocks that you have bought but also the stocks that you have rejected i think it will help you a lot i do this analysis and i have shown to you this analysis practically please watch both the videos that i have made on this stock i think that video got published on 5th of september i don't know when this video will get published maybe 20th of september or something 20th or 21st of september i have i don't know but please watch both the videos you will see how how i am building the story of a stock it's very important to discuss what we have not bought we don't we just don't have to discuss those stocks where already you are only making profit there are stocks where you will make profit there are stocks where you will make loss and there are stocks which you will never buy okay and have there been stocks which i rejected and which went up of course there are there are a lot of stocks and in the future videos i plan to cover those stocks as well okay thank you so much